My name is Emma Bennett, and I'm a PhD student working with Jocelyn Moore and Cindy Hauser on search efforts for rare species. Hawkweed is a highly invasive plant, which is found within the alpine regions of Victoria, New South Wales, and Tasmania. Left unchecked, hawkweed will outcompete many native plants, dominate the landscape, as you can see in this picture here from an overseas infestation, and threaten biodiversity and agriculture. On mainland Australia, it is subject to a full eradication policy and efforts are aimed at finding every last plant. Most occurrences in Victoria are found on public land around Falls Creek and Mount Buller, land managed by Parks Victoria. A variety of methods are engaged to help search and monitor for hawkweed, including volunteers, contractors, Parks Victoria staff, drones, and detection dogs. My research is exploring how we evaluate the performance of detection dogs to determine the most effective deployment strategy of this search method to maximize success in hawkweed detection. As you can see by this picture, the vegetation that needs to be searched is dense and difficult to see in. Dogs use olfactory detection. That is, they smell out the target plant rather than look for it. We undertook a series of detection experiments using both visually identical replicas and tea bags containing dried hawkweed leaves, as you can see in the purple squares there. By placing out known plant proxies, we were able to investigate the detectability of each target by recording the vegetation it was in, the visibility of the target, if it was found, how long it took to be found, who found it, and a bunch of other stuff. The tea bags were used as scent targets for the dogs and the replica plants as visual targets for the volunteer searchers, which allowed us to compare the detection between the two search methods and start to calculate the detection probability for each plant. It makes sense to think that the longer we spend looking for something, the more chance we have of finding it. And this can be represented by search effort curves, where we pl plot the detection probability of the target against the time spent looking for it. The curve here shows earlier experiments by my supervisors, Moore and Hauser, which plot the hours spent searching against the detection probability for hawkweed of different size clusters and with human versus dogs. Now, this was a proof of concept. So the specially trained dogs used in my experiment have a much higher detectability than this example. But these graphs are not one size fits all. The variable nature of the environment means single small plants in dense vegetation will require a longer time spent searching than a cluster of plants in an open grassy field. And in my research, I aim to quantify search effort curves for single small plants in different vegetation types, current specially trained dog teams. Another way to look at the impact of search effort is to alter the effort without the surveyor being aware and seeing the difference in detection outcomes. In the search for hawkweed, one hectare plots with are the standard management units. However, there is growing evidence that reducing plot size increases search effort for even the most experienced surveyor. In our field experiments, we ask the dog handlers to search two one hectare plots each day, but to stop when they thought either the plot had been searched or the dog had had enough work. On the last day, we asked them to search 20 by 20 metre plots, which is around a 25th of a hectare, until they thought that each plot was, th was thoroughly searched or the dog had had enough work. For each survey day, the dog spent a similar searching time for hawkweed, around two and a half hours. However, where plots were reduced in size, the total area searched was much less and the proportion of targets found was much higher, as you can see in this graph. Of course, doing this for each search team and each different search method is not really feasible with many projects on public land. And we are lucky with Hawkweed to have had the resources and collaborations to collect and evaluate this information. The search effort graphs that will be produced as a result of my research will go to inform management decisions around the allocation of resources within the Hawkweed project by guiding decisions around where the dog should be deployed, how long they should be deployed for, what size area they can search each day, and how confident we are in the results of that search. My long-term goal with this research, however, is to develop a management-friendly system that will allow managers to simply and cheaply assess the detection dog program through a series of simple and cost-effective detection experiments that can be done in situ during normal working search deployments. And by having clear guidelines around how to collect the data, what data to collect, and providing an open source platform to analyze the data, 
I hope to enable managers to produce their own search effort curves to support efficient allocation of resources and provide confidence and understanding in the performance of dogs as a search method. I just want to say thank you to VIAC for supporting me during my research and of course Monash University and Parks Victoria. Thank you.